Please let me fish a dagger bay. I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, yeah, I fought fine. for this country. You can't kick me out. Got him. Oh my golly! Got him. Got him. We're on. We're on. That's a bone fish. We're on. Oh, nice. Holy sh Being a Guggen is not easy, okay? Welcome back to part three of the U.S. Challenge. For those just tuning in, the name of the game is Inches. One fish from each species counts toward your total. Each species you catch and cook adds 10 extra inches. Each team must stay within the strict $1,000 budget. There we are. Waking up in a Walmart parking lot. Can't come up with the other uh, verse because I'm not fully awake yet. There she is, loading up on that protein right now for day three. Wow, is it already day three? Pumped for today's beach adventure. We're gonna try to head out. We've got the long pole, we got some shark rigs. We're, we're planning on basically parking our asses in the sand and getting some inches today. That's the goal. So, other boys, I'm not even sure how much hope they have this morning. It's probably not good. Good morning. It is day number two up here in the great north woods of Maine. It is somehow even colder than yesterday, but the snow has stopped. Right now we're dealing with the debacle and that is our camper that is stuck literally in the driveway. Yesterday the word of the day was stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, my tires are spinning, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. So we finally did her in dirty and got a really wedged off of a little gradient. Neighbor Paul has come to get me unstuck probably for the 50th time. What an absolute beaut. He's gonna bring his tractor in here and uh, <clears throat> that should have enough torque and traction to really get us going. Hot versus cold, day three. Time to dangle. Let's get after it. All right, so we are heading to the bait shop to hopefully grab some live bait. Maybe we can uh, snipe a peacock bass yeah. at the same canal we were fishing yesterday before we go to the beach. Yeah, because we're only five minutes away from this bait shop and where we fished last night. So, hey, we figured live shiners, hopefully they got some left. Uh, we'll hit this real quick, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour, just try to get a peacock on the board and then head to the big water, salt, Got all of our gear, and we'll spend our day on the beach. All right, we're oh, here. Okay, let's go inside, dude. We're seeing a lot of interesting things from the outside. I just hope they have some type of live bait. Anything that is alive, literally. You know, live stream, we're getting the living live stream. Live shrimp for yeah. peacock? You yeah, peacock is live stream. Okay. Personally, I've never heard of a peacock being caught on a live shrimp. We might make some history. I'm sure there's some people that have done it, but I've just never traditionally heard that. So my man is definitely doing his job yeah. and selling this that bait. This could be like $100. So we just spent another $111. That brings our remaining budget yeah. down to $220 left, I think, off the top of my head. And that's pretty good, because I think we've gotten everything that we're gonna need to fish with today, I think. All right, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna hook up this little local bait shop, show them what we got going on here. They said they're, uh, they got a lot of fishermen come through here, so. A little promo for you and them right now. Saucy Slimmers, these bad boys, they're available now. And we also have the Tasty Tubes available. Everybody out there trying to get the crappie dangle on, Tasty Tubes now available. Hey, we're gonna hook you up. These are some of our baits. Yes, that's Guggen, that's what we're saying. Oh, wow. Guggen, that's us. Uh, these are our baits. Yeah. Okay, oh, this is the name of Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are for you. Okay. Yep. Oh, you yeah, man, so y'all try them out. Thank try them so out, much. sell them, put them in the window, so let everybody you guys know. sell those? Yeah, you guys selling those? Yeah. Yep. And where yeah. I can find this, that your wife say? Yeah, GuggenSquad.com. Uh, yeah, okay. GuggenSquad.com. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much, it's very yeah. nice of me. Hey, thank you guys again. Help has arrived. It is good to have very generous and nice neighbors that are used to people like myself doing stupid things. We almost made it though, look how close we are. Now that it's light, you can have a little bit of a perspective as to how literally close we were to getting it to camp, but just too much snow. We needed to plow. We 
you're no longer up a snowy river without a paddle. <clears throat> I think after that little debacle, my next investment is going to be a nice big tractor. Shout out to Paul and his dad and his buddies for getting us out of that situation. As cool as this van is, and as much as we like ripping around this thing and camping in it, I think we're gonna play it safe. Leave this here, plug it in overnight, keep it warm, and I think we're gonna take my Forerunner just to be safe because yesterday was insane. I mean, we literally didn't even film a formal, a formal outro because we were so dead tired. Like, I was so, so out of it. I was like, I was looking at Jerry and I was looking at Rob and like, let's just go to bed. Let's have some food and go to bed because we just had the life sucked out of us. But anyway, today's a new day. We're gonna go after some different species. Hopefully wipe the slate clean and uh, see what Rob's up to. I haven't seen him pretty much all morning. All right, we're back here at Snake Creek, which is where we were fishing last night. We're not gonna spend a ton of time here. We just wanna throw around some of the live bait that we just got and see if we can get a peacock bass or any other species to bite. Just like that. See what he does. I thought about that because the right. is right there. Yeah. That's right to the ocean. So they can travel up and down this. Right, yeah. They open up the, uh, thing. Yeah. Well, we. People used to catch a lot of jacks right over there too. Yeah. Buddies, we hadn't tried down there yet, so we yeah, should, probably man. should. Yeah. yeah. That bridge, yeah. Just had a local tell me that that bridge right there is where we need to be. So they, they catch jacks. They catch all kinds of like saltwater yes. fish. Yes. yes. We have live shrimp. We have the things that they want. The bridge is only a couple hundred yards. I think it's worth a shot. We're on. We're on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I have no idea what it is. I have oh, it's no a jack. idea. It's a jack. It's a jack. It's a little jack. It's licking, baby. Let's he go. came off. He came off. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Yes. Not a big fish, but by God, it's another species. That's inches, baby. How do you hold this? Wow! Look at that. <laughs> Back at the teeth, man. Yeah. He's got teeth. He's got some pretty gnarly little teeth right there. Such a cool fish. I finally got my shrimp in like a good spot, like a deep edge off of some rock. And boom. To 12 -er? I gave it 12. That's 12 right there, folks. Wow. My little croaker. And you know what's crazy is we caught a bass like 100 yards away from that. A largemouth bass. Yeah, that is pretty wild. Holy moly. So our total inches is up to 41 now. So we're kind of slowly building a little something here. We're still hoping that we can land a gigantic fish from the beach, something that could seal this thing up. But in the meantime, we need to keep on building on our 41 inch total right now. Let's go fishing. Another five dollars off the budget. Brother, I don't know about you, but uh, I feel like we've stagnated a little bit. And we did pull one fish out of here, a new species we did add to our total, but I think me and you both agree it's time for a change of scenery. Yeah. We've been uh, talking about fishing from the beach for two days. Yeah. We got to get there. Yeah. I'll tell you something. If you're going to dangle, you know, around the, around the world, if you want to dangle around the world, this is the way to do it. One of these uh, RVs, campers, keep the gear in here. You wake up, everything's ready to go. I absolutely love this method. And I uh, hope you guys are liking it too. It makes it very efficient for us to jump around the spots. And it's a bonding experience, you know what I mean? When you're in a small box with uh, your buddies, you really get to know each other. You know, we gotta make up rules. Like, when are you pooping? All right. Well, maybe this is a good time for me, you know? Oh, uh, yes. You gotta have, you gotta have those things in place. A little tight, <sighs> feel better? Box. I feel great, yeah. Yeah, you know? Is there a place to, to sled down in one of those areas, or? Yeah, you go straight on this road, keep going straight. What's going on? Well, we met a random guy on the side of the road. He's allowing us to park here. I guess. And if you, I, did they think got more snow up here than we did? Because you know we, we came up about a thousand foot in elevation. We're up in the Appalachians, the very end of the mountain range. Uh, 
Let's get it. Florida, Florida Trail in Maine. We went from driving in the middle of downtown Miami 15 minutes ago to now we're like in this plush jungles. jungle. And we're about to be at the very end of this peninsula with just water and a lighthouse and some sand. Beach vibing. Oh, yeah. Woo! Like salty beach. I'm, I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, just a warning, you can't fish it off of our beach, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Off the seawall at the very end. Off the, that rocky, the jetty and everything no. over there? Oh, or? no, no. At the very end, um, you're going to see a pier. To the okay. left of that, you can fish. Okay. Awesome. Well, uh, the beach looks beautiful from this far away, but we don't know because we can't fish off of it. So we got to go to the uh, the inlet, basically. Yeah. The rocky side. Which we were looking at fishing that, too, but we yeah. just wanted to fish from the beach. Like, but come on, man. Can you fish from the beach? I know. It's pretty Such lame, dude. Yeah. But anyway, we're going to walk over there. Why is this closed? Literally everywhere we go, it is just no, no, no. Can't do close, close, no fish, no. This is uh, where we're gonna be fishing today. We're gonna set up base camp. Unlike yesterday, we were popping holes and moving around. We probably popped 100 holes. Today's gonna be a lot different. We're gonna focus on a, a really deep basin in this little pond and uh, try our luck at catching some trout. Um, hopefully they're not as hard as catching the perch yesterday because the perch were way more difficult. So we're gonna set up some live bait rods, set up the ice shanty, and uh, redeem ourselves from yesterday. Not get stuck and catch fish. Perfect. Well, this is actually pretty cool. There's like a, there's a little bit of an elevated seawall, but I feel much better about landing a bigger fish right here than I am standing on the rocks. Got him. I don't know what this thing is. It's a, whoa. Snapper biscuit, dude. Little snapper biscuit. Look at this thing. Wow. Is, I don't even know what that is. That might be a lane snapper. Lane got the, snap. The dot. And that is six and a half six and a half inches of lane snapper let him go boom i got a feeling there's probably another one down there so 47. all right that was quick too no you're right there's got to be bigger ones than that down there there's probably a hundred other species out here all the way at the end yeah not in here okay we just uh, what's that you're gonna see all the all the people well, where, where's the actual like line? Like, how do we know when From we're the there? Last, the last pier to the left. So that's in front there. Where is allowed to fish? Okay. So wait, we can't fish anywhere on this coast at all. on this coast at all? Nowhere in here. None of the piers? They're oh, closed. wow. Yeah. Okay. They're okay. falling apart. Uh, okay. Oh, By the seawall. Okay, the seawall. I thought this... Yeah, I thought that was a seawall. Okay. Cool. Cool. More no fishing uh, stuff. I'd like a, I, I'd like a, a local representative from the state of Florida to explain to me how you cannot English. fish any of the waters here. I mean, it's just crazy. Like, I don't even think we're being difficult about this. We just literally found water, we got out of the way, and we started fishing. And yet, somehow, that's not okay here. We have been kicked out of- Got him. Let's go. Got him. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, that's a, that's, that's a different one, dude. Different Dang it, man. So we just got Sorry, kicked out of the spot, but I had to give her another dangle. You know what I'm saying? That's seven a seven and a half. Seven -er. 
Okay, so seven inches. 54 inch total. 54 inch total now. This is a, uh, a mangrove snapper. Beautiful fish, really cool fish. Looks delicious too. God, and they're snapping. Snappers are snapping. I, I don't like rules, okay? I, I, I'm already a person that does not like rules. I'm, I don't like, I don't like it when you can't just walk out to the public water and fish. I think that's a huge problem. I think that is shrimp, not right. The shrimp got taken. Hey, you pay your taxes? Uh, yeah, I paid for to fish here. Oh, that's funny. I paid my right. taxes too. So yeah, when you take my taxes uh, and you just do whatever the hell you want with them and not even, I don't even get a say in it. Yeah. At least let me fish at Dagum Bank. Holy there's there's not a single sign right here that says no fishing. There's nothing. I mean, that's I'm sorry. That's just crazy. I'm a little upset. I gotta regain my composure here. If somebody else says something to me, I'm gonna have to pull the veteran card out on them. I think that, yeah. I it's fought nice. for this country. You can't kick me out. Oh yeah, 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 I do, yeah, I do. Got him. Oh my golly! Got him. Got him. There we go! Got him. I have no shoe on, and my guy Zombie is hooked up. Here he's right here. Oh, tell me he's a mega. It's a decent one. Tell me he's a mega. It's a decent one. On the Guggen Saucy Swimmer. Oh, is that what it was, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh my god. Is it a Slossy or Saucy Swimmer? No, no, it's a full size Saucy full Swimmer. Full size? Oh my god. There he is, right there. Oh got him. my god. Let's go! go! Yes. yes, we got it. <laughs> Finally got a nice fish. Oh my gosh. And we're gonna eat this guy too. Yeah, Holy this hell! This is great. I said, "Yo, John, give me them, them boot warmers." Oh, look at that! This right here is such a cool main fish. Holy Dude, hell! I just brought it up really fast. That's I think. You wouldn't eat the other thing I was throwing. I though. think we need in order to get him to eat, you have to like burn it up to the surface. Okay. First fish of the day, and it is a beautiful lake trout, or as they call them up here, togue. We're gonna eat this guy too. They're actually really good eating in the winter months. This is way cooler than perch fishing. Oh, it's yeah. fast paced. You're reeling the bait up. And the cool thing is we're literally using baits that the Florida guys are using too. I caught that fish. Oh, this one's up. That, one, that, one's, that up. one's up. That one's up. Okay, double lines in the water. New spot. Oh, oh, there's a, uh, a needle fish. Oh, no, this thing's got my bait. I got the wrong fish. Dude, it's so long. It's a needle fish, dude. I freaking go, right? Hey. They can't stop us, dude. They can't stop us. Dude, oh look at the teeth. Gosh, look at those teeth. Wow. Okay. Here, keep right oh, there. He's super long, man. He's 18 and a half. We'll call him 18. 18, dude. 18 on That's the needlefish, baby. Huge. I flipped it out there and he said, I want that. Okay. See you, buddy. Look at that. Oh, that, whoa. That that, no, no, that wasn't me. That, that wasn't, wasn't me. it. For sure. Oh, dude. Oh, I think I just got hit, dude. Oh, my gosh, dude. So much has happened. Like, a matter of a couple of minutes. That was insane. Yeah, this drag was screaming and the, the bobber got wrapped around. This is one of our live bait setups. Woo, that was, dude, finally some action. We needed this so bad, this trip. All right, let's get a measurement on our togue. Nose to tail, we've got a solid 19 inches. That's good. Respectable fish, but I think we can probably get another one too. I mean, a little bit bigger. That's like the equivalent, they need to catch like a snakehead down there, you know? Yeah, for snakehead that or a nice bass. What? Yeah, it'd be pretty big. Like five, six pounder? Yeah. We have 30 and a half points right now. When we cook this guy, we'll have 40. Nice fish. Let's keep jigging. I got something here. This is some sort of yellow line, yellow tail thing. New species. Look at that pretty little fish, huh? It's kind of cool. Five incher. Five inches. Nice little snipper there. Hey, buddy. Hey, they're small, but they're adding up. Going back in. Threw a little chum out there as an offering. This one's got a little four weight. Like I said, it's a Dude. What is this? A different one. It's a different one. Dude, it's got a you are. You're on fire right now, brother. <laughs> Dude, this is like the best multi-species. Oh, and I'm ever. getting bit right here. Let me keep an eye on this. this you guys will have to help me out in the comments because I don't know. I don't know what that is. Beautiful blue face. Seven inches. Seven inches that puts us at 77. See, buddy. Our luck has They're definitely gone. turned around. I mean, we have been grinding up to this point. This is the most fish we've caught in the entire 
challenge. Like the previous 48 hours combined, this is the most fish we've caught in the last 15 minutes. Feels good. We still haven't even hooked into any of the big fish that we're still hoping to run across yet. Yep, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. You got him, you got him. Nice, dude. <laughs> oh, God. oh, he's little. Very little. It's a little, but. Is that a brook? Is that a brook trout? Sure. Brook trout. Brook? Let's go. Second species. Let's there go, dude. Go. Brookie. I'm 99% sure. No, just kidding. Lake trout. Damn it. I just saw, like, the little blue on it. And... Okay. Oh, it's a fish. First fish to the ice, Rob. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> I caught it all myself, guys. <laughs> oh, I got really excited. There you know what's kind of goofy is we're sitting in 47 foot of water. Like, to me, that's, I don't know, that's weird. I'm sitting on like 18 inches of ice. All right, quick release on this guy. This is the baby. Nice, dude. Hello, Joe, I'm almost thinking that jack that you caught this morning. Send it on a shark rig. That's what we needed right there. Mr. Jack made a sacrifice for this team, so we were gonna pay tribute to him. The only way we know how. That, that's juicy right there. If something picks that up and starts going with it, it's going to be a Mondo. And this is on bass gear, mind you. This is a medium heavy bass setup. We do have a wire leader on there, but the main line's only like 20 or 30 pound braid. This is gonna be interesting. All right, Rack Attack, you ready for this? See what I'm about to send out here into the depths? That's our phrase, bloody, very bloody. You know sharks like blood. Casted it right off. Oh no, it broke? Oh boy, I tell you what guys, being a Guggen is not easy, okay? <laughs> yeah, the uh, leader broke. I don't want to call into question whoever, oh no wait, the leader's good. It just snapped. The 15 pound, whatever was tied to the to the leader why, just why snapped. Put, why did you put 15 pound on the? I didn't. It was just there. Why didn't you cut that off? That, that off. You know, Are you trying to blame this on me? I'm just. I, I don't. I'm, I'm I just picked it up decision. and tie, and I, there was already a wire rig tied onto it, so I just put the the head on the oh, wire you put rig. The shark rig? Yeah. No, this that is exactly what happened. I picked this rod up. It already had a wire leader on it. So I was like, okay, this thing's ready to go. Okay. Well, we have the rest of the jack. I think the sharks prefer the head though. That rod's going off. That rod's going off. That rod's going off. That rod's off. Good call, Rob. We have a fish on the uh, automatic fisherman. It doesn't feel huge, but. It is a fish. This is awesome. Finally, some good action for today. Oh yeah, feels good. Oh, I got a tail wrap. There we go. Oh shoot! shoot, 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 shoot. <laughs> oh, he's all wrapped up in the line. They're like catfish in so many ways. Oh, tail grab. There we go. Oh, nice. He's got a buggered up eye. Damn, this wind is brutal. Yeah, we need to the Oh, God. Wow. Holy s. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm just going to cut it. We're going to keep this guy anyway. Well, I just cut the line because we aren't going to be releasing this guy. We're going to eat him. Gonna give him a quick drink. There you have it. Another nice little togue. So, we're just going to get him quick right back in the shanty. We cannot fish outside right now. It is too nasty. Whew, let's bring him inside. Let's go. Yep, he's eating it. He's eating it. Let him eat, let him eat, let him eat. He's got it. Oh, no, he dropped it. Oh, he's trying to eat it again. Okay. It's one of these needle guys. It's a needle guy. It's a needle guy. Might be an even bigger one. Look at this thing, dude. That's a 20, dude. So 20 inch, that adds two inches on this piece. Okay, we're gonna let uh, old uh, 20 inch needler go. Pound, whatever he is. Yeah, put some frays in that braid. Dude, he, braid he, that he touched my off. braid and it was <laughs> We are at 79 right now. So, man guys, I feel like if we just keep grinding out here and we get 
one of these decent sized fish, a, a, a shark, a jack, a, a ray, um, a drum, we're going to be well over 100. We're going to get into the triple D's today. And that's what we're really looking to do. So it's going good. This is a good move. It was a, it's a journey to get here, you know, get a little flow going. But now the flow is going and I'm riding the wave. We got one, honey. We got one. Okay. You got him. Good Lord above, I got me another. See, leader. Leader, son. What do we got? We have a big leader, so. Oh, it's a nice one. Here we go. Take him up. Ah, nice fish. That's a keeper. There we go. Look at this, boys. Hell yeah, dude. I'm nice becoming nice. a professional lake trotter. You are. <laughs> oh, my guy's going to be going back in. He does not meet limit size here and I'm just gonna give him a good come on bud cold he's all right he's just cold he's he's cold he's he's cold swimming back down there I think he's gone there she blows we're gonna throw this out on a not the finesse rod the go-to Okay, I don't advise this whatsoever, but we're gonna see what this baby can uh, hold up to. Clear the area. Oh yeah. That's pretty much exactly the cast I was hoping for and the rod didn't break, rig is all together. If, uh, if we get anything sizable on this rod, yeah, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Stuck his ass. He hammered it. Holy hell. Man. Feels decent. Feels decent. They give such big head shakes. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, yeah. oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's burping. He's burping. This feels decent. There's another light rod too. This is like my little bass ice fishing rod. And we definitely don't need He's to. He's like underneath anything. my hole right now. Look at that. That's so yeah. cool. Watch him swim. Ate the saucy. It's like, seems like Rob was doing better with his bait, but then all the, oh, jeez, is that a big fish? I'm on the ice cream. Oh, I can't tell, it looks decent. Oh, no, it's not that big. It's a good fish, though. It seemed like Rob was doing really good with his bait, and then all of a sudden, we'll just come in and they'll eat the saucy. It's just all personal preference. Each lake trout is different, you know? Woo! I'm not gonna go quite, quite. What do we have to be, 18? They're not very majestic fish. They're like the offensive linemen of, of the uh, trout world. <laughs> you know, we got brook trout, which are like uh, wide receivers. You've got uh, salmon that are like the QB, and then you've got lake trout that are like some freaking O lineman for the Ravens. 380 uh, pound man. Yeah. And they're just burping. <laughs> <laughs> Let me eat your swim bait. <laughs> Fourth fish at 18 inches, which is over our limit, or which is at our limit, sorry. And uh, after that, we're gonna have to start putting them back. So, decent little tow. We'll take them. We will take them. There it is. Our bait did not get touched. I think it's just time for a little change of scenery. So, we've got a little bit more flatter beach out here. We're gonna try going over there and uh, catching anything. You don't have money until you got a boat and a jet ski together and the jet ski matches your boat. Not just like the color, but the whole shape. That's what this guy is doing out here, all right? He's, he's doing circles around his boat and his jet ski. We're on, we're on, we're on. Uh, I don't know, but he's pulling on the spoon out there. It could be probably a bigger one too. Yeah, well, he's kind of laying over now. Come with me. Ah! What is that? What, no, we have new species. Bone fish. Oh my God, we're counting that. That's counted. That's a bone fish. I don't care who you are. You just caught a bone fish 
Oh, you know how hard it is to catch a bonefish? You just hook one on a dang spoon. Oh, a spoon, man. He 17 inches. It. I, I've seen so many fish in my lifetime. I know exactly how long that was. It was arm's reach, 17 inches. That's bonefish, new species. There's I don't a care fish who right you are. there feeding on bait. Hold on a second. Are. I don't know if we can legally count that, I'm but. Counting it in my mind. Dude, he, I wish you could have felt how he hit that lure, bro. He rocked it. And I was way out there, too. Like, I was way out there. A bonefish on the flats, my guy. A bonefish on that. You ever caught a bonefish in your life? No. Dude, no. Man. That would have been a first. I, I, I kind of panicked and went for the boat flip. I didn't know what to do. I knew we didn't have a net. And I just wanted to get it in. Dang it. Man. Felt good, though, to get rocked way out there. I'm liking the spot now. I'm liking it. Building that confidence a little bit. I mean, I'm gonna say that that was such a rare opportunity <laughs> that is never gonna happen again, but I could be wrong. Oh. 20 inch rods. Doing calisthenics. Calisthenics to keep my toes warm. It's like four degrees outside. Was it a zero this morning you said? Zero. Yeah. Real field zero. It's probably like five degrees here. My toes are killing me. Absolutely killing me. Yeah. Oh, there's one on the far right. There big he is. One. There's one. one coming in. Giant. We're just keep, keeping the motion going here. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he's chasing bait. You're drawing him in. I am. I'm going to keep going. The calisthenics are drawing him in. Come on, buddy. He can hear me. Oh, no, he's going the other way. Pack it up, by the way. We're moving out. It's just stale. Talked to some more locals. They said, oh yeah. Yeah, this is not a good place to fish. The way it used to work here back in the summer, uh, they kick you out at sunset, and it's right 20, 30 minutes before the sun goes down is when the fish start biting. Right, yeah, yeah. perfect timing. Yeah. They're not too keen on fishermen over here, I've noticed. Yeah. No, no, they're not, no. Yeah. It's, it's, I've always said about this place, there's always more tourists to the fish. Yeah. Sucks, you know? First words out of the man's mouth was, yeah. oh no, not a good place to fish. I'd say you, we overperformed that. We overachieved, considering this is not a very good place to fish. Got yeah. a lot of species caught out here today. Yeah, apparently it's very so. difficult to catch some of those larger game species. So we're gonna pack it up. We're gonna head out. We just need to change the scenery. I think we're gonna head to uh, maybe our residence for tonight. Yeah, camp, we got, we got our eye. spot, been looking at the yeah. maps. Water around, fresh water, maybe some brackish, yep. a little mix up. We're gonna mix it up. Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. Mix it up, mix it up. I'm just glad it wasn't that soon. Fishing is not done yet today. Quick little budget update. We have $180 left and our inch total is at 77 right now. So we don't really know how we feel about that. It could be better, but at least we've got that. We want to make it to 100 for sure. Let's get on the road. Boom. All right, the day is done. We literally had three hours to fish and we made the most of it. Caught, did we catch like four or five lake trout? Pretty solid for a couple hours of fish on a lake that I've never really fished before. It's pretty insane. So we're gonna pack up shop here and get out of Dodge before it gets dark and even colder. Definitely the coldest day of the trip so far, and that's saying a lot because yesterday was chilly. We are packed up, set and ready to go home before dark. It's not snowing. Rob, did we break anything today? We didn't break anything. We didn't break anything. We caught fish. We caught like a little over six lake trout, which is pretty good for fishing new waters. We have one more day to seal the deal. I know we didn't necessarily hammer the species today, but we did get like an 18 inch bump. And we're gonna bring these fish back home, flame up and cook them. It actually tastes pretty good. Anything below the ice generally has better meat. So let's get on out of here and we'll meet you guys back at the homestead. So we are rushing right now to try to get to a bait shop to get some shiners. Uh, there's a place that closes pretty soon. We're trying to get over there. We're actually going to try to use some shiners tonight to try to go after the snakeheads, uh, peacocks, and we'll have some bait for tomorrow so we don't have to uh, try to rush through the, the rush hour to the shiners in the morning so we can fish even more. 
We're trying to add inches. We're trying to add inches, just like every other day, huh? All right, we're here. We made it. Somehow, we're going to do ownership. All right, we're in the bait shop right now. Have a good night. Dude, come on. Man, I don't know the name of this place, but man, we need to shout them out. Food store, bait and tackle. Okay, okay. Miami, like 7.45 at night. Two dozen shiners right there. Can't. She was like, y'all gonna pick up fishing? Yeah, she knew the deal. Come get him. she knew the deal. I think so. Yeah, man, Guggen, Guggen Squad. Guggen Squad. Google? Guggen Squad. Yeah. Oh, okay. Guggen, yeah. Guggen, okay, okay. Yes, sir, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna look you guys up. Yeah, man, you like to fish? Oh, I love to fish. Oh, dude, you'll like it then. Yeah. 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 You guys from here? No. No, no. Alabama, Texas, Texas Florida. Yeah, yeah. But oh, we're shit. just here for literally till tomorrow. Trying to catch big peacock bass and just okay. anything. Hey, bring me back, bring, bring me back a mermaid. A mermaid? <laughs> I got you. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Good luck, right? guys. Take care, brother. All right, this little bad boy right here. Put us, uh, it's about 40 bucks. We had 180, so, you know, do a little math. 140 bucks left. We got some. Baconators to eat tonight. Probably gonna be around 100 bucks this evening. Plenty. So, Plenty. Plenty of leftovers. We're not paying for our lodging tonight. Yeah, we're not. Walmart we're not paying. Mode, so yeah, yeah, we're going Walmart mode. So let's get back uh, to our home spots. Uh, maybe get a baconator, and then our fishing spot is close to the Walmart. That's right. Actually. So yeah. we're gonna yep. roll out from there. Yep. Um, and this could be an all-nighter. So buckle up and stay tuned.